Today's food of thought comes from the fifth chapter of Micah, verses 2 through 5, which reads, But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth are from of old, from everlasting. Therefore he shall give them up until the time that she who is in labor has given birth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide. For now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and this one shall be peace. This is the Christmas scripture and the thought that I want to share with all of you today what I want all of you to give much consideration as we celebrate the holiday. Jesus, I want you to consider, came from the eternal domain to our world, a world of sin. Now, could you imagine that? Could you imagine leaving a place that it that is truly perfect to come to a world that we constantly talk about getting worse and worse all of the time? Then when Jesus came to our world, he wasn't born in the finest of facilities, was he? No, Jesus, he came as low as one could into our world. He was born in a lowly city, lying in the trough of cattle. Yet Jesus, he is the greatest gift given to us from the Lord. Because God loved the world, he gave to the world everlasting peace and joy. God's gift of peace, that is Christ, the bringer of everlasting joy, that is what we should all be celebrating, not only this weekend, but each and every day of our lives. So I say to all of you today, Merry Christmas. And I truly hope that you are celebrating the gift given to you by the Lord. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about, and I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you, and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere and if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next food for thought.